funny. I, I think anybody in a neck brace looks fucking hilarious. I don't know why. Uh, wasn't Sting doing that gimmick too? He can't trust anybody. So he came out to Crow. A year no, later. no, no. So, the, with left Sting going to the Crow, if I'm not mistaken, I'm fairly certain. I'm, I'm sure I'm right about this. Was that people weren't trusting him? Like Luger couldn't trust his like all his friends and all that, and he's like all pissed off. So he's I'm I'm fucking walking away, and then returns as the Crow. Which I thought you liked that. I, I thought that storyline went on too long. My went on too long. I genuinely enjoyed it because it was it was something different. I think by '96 the fucking surfer sting and you know it was long in the teeth. You know, long no, in the no, teeth. No, no, no. That's ever. fine. I'm saying the way they kept him out of the ring for so fucking long. That's what I thought it took too long. It's over a year. Beefcake main event. It's, it's all that matters. That's the comments. Beefcake main event. That's all you need to say about fucking WCW at the time to realize like what shape they were in. When, that like, was the main event for their for their bigger show, which was Starcade. Yeah, that main event was '94. Yeah. That's right, and then the, the earthquake came in, whatever the fuck they called him. What did they call him? The shark? No. Avalanche. <laughs> he came out, Sullivan came out, and they jumped. Yeah, that became Savage a shark. Came out. Yeah, that became a shark. That guy, no, that guy, you gotta give credit to John Tenta for being, you know, dedicated to his shit. You gotta because... give him credit for getting that, keep getting tattoos on his body for his gimmicks. Well, that was the thing, is that he, he got the LSU tie, because he went to LSU, he got the fucking tiger tattooed on him, and he got that covered up with a shark for the gimmick. Like, that's... Is that what? That's why the Tiger did. He went to uh, LSU. Yeah. Really. I used to chat with him online every once in a while. Fucking before he passed away, he was part of a wrestling message board. He was very, very friendly. Super, super sweet guy. So very unfortunate when he passed away. But that was again your period in time. I'm going to put the challenge out to all of you watching, all of you who will watch or listen, whatever it is. So we're gonna go with this challenge every single week. You guys can message me. You can message Joe. Please message Joe. <laughs> or message the Warriors page. The question is, and nobody has been able to beat me on this. Name a wrestler who has made more money in top-level promotions. I'm talking WWE, WCW, ECW. I'd even count Ring of Honor at this point if you can get somebody current. Or Impact. Name somebody who's made more money for a longer period of time despite having 0, 0.00 level of skill as Virgil. In my opinion, the worst wrestler to make money for a long period of time. Now, like I said, you could let us know. You can message it in here at some point uh, you know, every week when we do this however you want to find it we can go it if anybody can find someone that we can all sit there and agree like yeah absolutely that makes perfect sense free merchandise so there's your challenge people go ahead and throw that out there worst wrestler to make more money over a longer period of time than Virgil yeah, so here's the problem with that I can, Fabulous I, I, Mula, absolutely not. Fabulous Mula, fucking talent, talent is wrote the book. I mean, she's a piece of fucking dog shit, but she didn't write the book on women's wrestling and wasn't a terrible worker. She wasn't a good worker, but she wasn't fucking Virgil trying to. Uh, Who said Fabulous Mula? Uh, Tim. Hey, Someone says hey, Big Show. But see, Jesus here's, Christ! Here's the thing: some people best big man in the history of the fucking business. Yeah, you know, it's a matter of opinion too. But it's not a matter of opinion. Virgil is 100 percent correct. Maybe somebody to make more money fucking for, for a longer period of time. Paul Roma didn't fucking... He went... When, when did he go to WWE? 86. 86. Left there, was on the... 91, Indi 92, maybe? And left WCW, what, 93? Yeah, 92. No, he was gone quicker. And that was it. That was the last you saw of Paul Roma. Abyss? This is excellent worker. Disco Inferno. Disco Inferno... Oh, man. That's certainly a close one. When did Disco Inferno start? I want to say 96. Yeah, I'd say so. And then what? To 2001. That's only five years. That's true. But then he went to, to, to TNA. He did go there? Yeah, but that's... That's why it's hard over there, because you're not really... At the time, TNA was not even a number two, and there was nothing. I know. Jeff Jarrett. 
Oh, you can't say that. Listen, Jeff Jett you might not like, but... Terry Taylor? Terry Taylor. I, I don't like Terry Taylor, but you can't say he was a, he was bad like Virgil. <laughs> Lodi. Lodi made fucking money for like two years. Yeah, he wasn't around long at all. Said she was abysmal, made a shit ton of money. Yeah, so Tim, here's the thing. Abysmal as in what? Like, Moolah was not good by any means, but she wasn't actively bad. Like, those matches that she had for like a hundred fucking years became the style of women's wrestling. Like, I, I don't disagree with what you're saying in terms of her, like, not being good, but she wasn't a fucking actively bad wrestler like Virgil was. She also, like, Mula was a territory girl, so I don't even know if she can count. She was with WWF from fucking when? Rock and Wrestling, and then she was out, and then she... she rock and Wrestling to 87 or 88. And then she was gone for a few years. Yeah, so she wasn't maybe making back till maybe 10 years she long. wasn't making money up top for a very long time. She was a territory girl. I moved around and pimped girls out. Awful human being. And I've been all right. So we're gonna leave it here. Disco Inferno is possibly the closest that you guys have come with, mm. but even then, like Disco Inferno could bump and feed for you. <laughs> Virgil is. Well, I've really got to figure out who's worse. Please, like I said, any of you could throw it in. Every week here, I'll take any of the answers. Write me, write Joe, write the, the Warrior the problem, page. The problem is, he wasn't a wrestler in WCW. He did wrestle for WCW. Are you sure? I 100%. Remember. I remember him just being out there with DiBiase in the NWO. Nope, he wrestled. 100% he wrestled. You find it. I'm sure we can. It's on fucking Saturday nights. You wrestle all the time. They would always do shit like that. Mm, I don't know. Vincent. I know his name, and then he became Shane. He became Shane. When did he become Shane? Towards the end. Look up his Wikipedia. Oh my god, I can't. You didn't wait. know that? No, I do remember, but I want to think because like Shane didn't come on the TV until ninety eight. Ninety eight, yeah. And man, so it was more than ten years. I thought Virgil was gone by like ninety seven, ninety eight or shit, but like they had definitely kept it going with him. Wow. <laughs> I'm going to look this up cuz if 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 he Virgil a jerk off too. If Virgil was around till 99, there's no one that's going to beat him cuz that's a full 12 fucking years. He thinks he's great. He thinks he's going to be I talked to this guy in uh, in Philadelphia. Got to get that fuck money. Anyway, Warriors of Wrestling on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram, Wow TV Live on YouTube. Check me out King of Chaos NYC Facebook, Twitter and Instagram for Logan Black and for Joey B. Good night. <laughs>